hi guys welcome to my channel if you're new hi welcome please go ahead and subscribe i would really really enjoy it and if you're not hi welcome back so for today's video i'm going to be doing a little review on valentino's new perfumes i got my hands on her and i'm so excited let's get straight to it all right you guys so this is her this is the new Valentino Born in Roma perfume. This is this one is called Green Stravaganza. And I'm so excited. I got my hands on it. I wanted the bigger size, but they were all like sold out. So this is like the second biggest. This is the 1.7 fluid ounce. Oh my gosh, you guys. This smells so amazing. Like, let me just show you guys and then we'll get into this review. Like I'll go ahead and let you guys know the scent notes and everything, but I need you guys to see, like, this perfume. Well, I mean, you guys already know the OG, but this green one just has something to it. It looks like a whiskey bottle. Like, I don't know. It looks so cute, and it just smells so amazing. So soft, so floral, so fresh. It's just everything in one. This is honestly like the perfect transition like for spring and then obviously you know for summer you need a little something even more fresh because this is sort of warm a little bit like a warm floral. So yeah let me just go ahead and read you guys the scent notes. The scent notes in this perfume are tea accord, vanilla and jasmine. It literally it's the perfect combination. It blends out like it blends together so nicely. I believe it's green tea because when I first sprayed it on, that's the first thing I smelled, green tea, but the green tea smells woody and a little bit musky. It's just Honestly, this perfume is really, really good. I actually really liked it. I thought I wasn't because I'm not a huge fan of tea perfumes. Um, I believe the Taylor Arden one, I think that's her last name or Taylor Elizabeth. I'm not too sure. It was my mom's favorite perfume. It was the green tea one. It's not a horrible perfume, but it's just not my favorite. So that at first, it reminded me of it. The first like whiff, um, I was like, Hmm. but I let it do its thing I let it dry down so all the other scents could come through and honestly yeah it's been one of my favorites recently like let me go ahead and spray some on yeah you see like you smell that tea but instantly you kind of start to smell the other scent notes as well when it settles down ah you see it smells so good when it settles down you do smell the vanilla a lot so it is like a very sweet perfume, I would say. But while it's settling down, it smells sort of fresh. And you smell just a tiny amount of musk, like I said. It's a really, really good perfume. I would really recommend you guys. Like, um, Honestly, I would recommend that you guys go smell it first. Just in case you guys don't like it. But I feel like... I haven't really smelled something like this. I like this combination. When you just hear like, oh, tea, vanilla, and jasmine, like, is that going to even go together? In my mind, I was like, no, not really. Tea and vanilla, like, mm, vanilla, you know, green tea. I don't know. But honestly, my expectations were met. This smells really, really amazing. So, yeah, this is her. You guys should check her out. Yeah. all right you guys so that was it for today's video i'm going to go ahead and put a picture up here of the scent note so you guys could go ahead and read it for yourself but yeah thank you so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed please go ahead and subscribe and give me a like i would really really appreciate it bye